Hello, my name is Dr. Logan Kelly, and welcome to a series of lectures I'm calling Gretel Boot Camp. These series of lectures are primarily intended for the MBA statistics course that I teach at the University of Wisconsin River Falls. This first lecture will be on installing the Gretel software package, which is a software package I use in that course. Before we begin, I'd like to have a quick disclaimer. First, this video is not intended to be a lecture in statistics or econometrics simply a demonstration of how to do a particular task in the Gretel software. While I believe the practices demonstrated here are sound, I make no claim that they are the best or the only way to do whatever task is being demonstrated. Two, this video is intended to introduce some basic functions in Gretel. Gretel is a powerful package and there is more than one way to, to accomplish each of the tasks I demonstrate and much, much more than what I could demonstrate in a series of videos. Hopefully, though, this video will give you a good start. And finally, for advanced users, I highly recommend you just simply skip these videos and go to the Gretel website um, and look at the manual. So in this lecture, you need to know a few things to begin with. First of all, you need to know what operating system you're using. Um, I will demonstrate the installation of Gretel on the Windows operating system but um, it will work also on Linux and Macintosh. Next, you need to know whether or not you have admin rights or not. Admin rights are whether or not you can install software packages. Gretel will work regardless of whether you have admin rights or not, but you'll have to download a different package uh, from a different link. All right. Finally, we'll talk a little bit about whether or not you want the latest release or the current snapshot. Uh, the latest release is the latest stable release, which has most of the features tested very, very thoroughly. Um, the current snapshot, on the other hand, um, has the latest and greatest features and bug fixes um, already put up. But it's not necessarily the latest stable release. It's kind of the beta test version. But to be honest, Gretel is, is a solid enough software package, I usually just use the current snapshot. Finally, you'll need to know the website. The website to get Gretel is gretel.sourceforge.net, and we'll go there now. When you go to the Gretel website, this is what you'll see. Now, you'll notice there's Gretel on Windows, Gretel on the Macintosh, and if you go scroll down, you'll see Gretel for Linux. Installation for Gretel for Linux is a bit more complicated and beyond the scope of these videos. Both the Mac and Windows versions are very easy to install, and I'm going to demonstrate the Windows version. So what we're going to do next is click on Gretel for Windows. Now, notice the word Gretel is an acronym. It stands for GNU Regression Econometrics and Time Series Library. All right, it has the tagline by econometricians for econometricians. And I am, by training, an applied macroeconometrician um, and do a lot of macroeconometrics, which is why I very much like this software package. Um, I find it to be the best, what I call, canned statistical package available, either for purchase or in the um, open source um, world. There are, other, there are many, many other statistical packages uh, to choose from, but once you understand how to use one statistical package, learning a new statistical package is much, much simpler. It's the first one that is the most difficult to learn. Once you've learned that one, then things repeat and you'll be able to have a common frame of reference across packages. So um, I have no real regrets about teaching um, Gretel in my um, MBA course even though it's not a very common um, software package to use in business applications. All right, coming down, we're going to take a look at the installer packages. Now, you have basically three choices here. You can go with an installer at a 32-bit operating system, a 64-bit operating system, um, or you can get a zip package if you have no admin rights. So. The 32-bit or the 64-bit is simply what operating system you have. If you have a 64-bit operating system, I recommend installing the 64-bit version. If um, you don't have the ability to install software on your computer, go ahead and download the zip archive. There will be instructions within the zip archive to use that, and you won't have to actually install it on your, so on your, program on your computer to use it. 
I, on the other hand, am going to demonstrate the installation of the 64-bit current snapshot. All right, this brings you to the SourceForge page, which takes a few seconds, and then it'll allow you to download it. And once I have it downloaded, I will come back. Okay, I have downloaded the package. I'm going to click on it, and I'm in Firefox right, or I'm sorry, Chrome right now, so I'm going to click Run. I'm going to choose my language, which is English. And simple, basic um, installation procedures, like most packages. You can leave everything pretty much the default. All right, once Gretel has finished unpacking itself, it'll say Finished, and you just click Finished. And that's all there is to installing Gretel on a Windows machine. That concludes this lecture.